Hey everybody, Brad here. Just want to give you a quick tour of WP Offload S3. I've already installed the plugin here and set it up. And you can see we have a message at the top here that says we can upload our media library. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But first I'm gonna show you this uh, post here. It's the front, the front of the site, it's just a blog. And this post, it has an image and it's coming, it's being served from the local server. So let's go ahead and upload. And we're gonna find and replace uh, links in content. Uh, so as uh, the files are uploaded to S3, we're also queuing them up to be, uh, to, to run a find and replace against uh, our posts uh, in the background. So let's go ahead and cancel out of that. So it's uploaded 10 files out of our 150 file media library. So let's go ahead and load another page here. Let's go, and you'll see that the find and replace has completed in the background. So all the URLs for the files that were uploaded have been replaced with the S3 URLs. So let's go back to our post here on the front end and we refresh the page and you can see that the URL is now the S3 URL. So let's also try just uploading a new file. So let's go to this post I've created, Glacier, and let's upload a featured image. There we go. So it's been uploaded and you can see the URL here is for S3. Let's set that as the featured image and let's preview it. And as you can see, it's loading just fine. And if we look at the source, it is coming from S3. Now let's go to the media library. And we can see in the list view here, we've got that file that we just uploaded. And there's some other options here. We can copy it to S3 again. We can copy this other file to S3 as well down here. And we can remove the file from S3 from here as well. And we have bulk actions, so we could select multiple files and copy them to S3 or remove them S3 or copy them to the server from S3. If we switch to the grid view, we can also uh, see some of these features by using the bulk select. So if we do click bulk select and then you can see that these buttons here are available to copy to S3, remove from S3 and copy to server. So uh, another thing, if we go into the attachment details, you can see here on the right that the, the bucket and path and region and access are all displayed here. And there's controls at the bottom of this uh, display as well, copy to S3, remove from S3 for just this file. Uh, and this is available as well in the list view. So if we could click through to a file in here, you can see that it's available. There's a panel here for Amazon S3 with the same information and the controls as well. There's lots more features that come with WP Offload S3 in the form of add-ons. So I highly recommend checking out those videos. There's the assets add-on that allows you to offload all of your theme, JavaScript and images and CSS, offload all that to S3 and start serving it from S3 uh, or CloudFront or another CDN. There's also the WooCommerce add-on that allows you to much more easily uh, up upload files to Amazon S3 and serve your downloads of any digital files that you're selling to S3. We also have an easy digital downloads add-on that allows you to offload your downloads to S3 and offer them to your customers for download from S3 rather than your own server. So check those videos out and also check out deliciousbrains.com for more details. Thanks, everybody.